<gasps> There's a stain. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I hope that you're having an amazing day. So, I thought I would join the crew of favorites videos because, I don't know, I wanted to get a quick video up on Monday, so when you're seeing this, but um, I have been working on this sketch video and um, I know it's not going to be ready in time, so rather than rushing and kind of doing a shoddy job of it, I thought I'd do a quick little fun little video, like a July favorites. And I know this is probably getting up late in terms of July favorites, but I don't know, I just thought to give it a try. So without further ado, let's get to it. So my first favorite this month is um, probably my crystals and um, I have way more than this but I just bought this new one well yesterday so I don't know if you could really consider it a July favorite yet but um, it is called Selenite and um, basically hold on there's like hair on it <laughs> but basically this is uh, an angel stone I don't know if you guys can see it. If not, I'll like zoom in. It's so beautiful. But uh, um, yeah, so I got this stone yesterday at a flea market. And um, basically, it's meant to help you connect with your angels. Um, and it, for me, though, it, I'm just mainly going to use it to help keep positive energy in the air and, you know, use it for meditation and stuff like that. So I'm excited about that. I love it. It really does calm you. And I don't know if it's just the color or what, but really love it. And then I also have this sage now. I have like this all weird thing with incense and I don't like it so I was kind of nervous about getting sage but um, once I used it yesterday I have been hooked and I want to sage myself every day I went to bed in a kind of negative mindset kind of and I don't like to do that because then I end up waking up kind of the same way or it's amplified so this morning I woke up feeling really down and icky and just in a lower frequency type of area so I saged myself and oh, did you see that there's like this, oh, it's still smoky it's not safe but anyway um yeah I saged myself this morning and I just automatically felt like this uplift in my spirit and it's not like it's not a placebo effect like it was real and it was intense and I was just so, I'm just, I don't know, I'm very grateful about this and I really like what Sage can do for your home and life and it has health benefits too if, don't eat this, don't, don't eat this, but um, if you get a Sage tea or stuff like that, it has a few health benefits. I know it helps with muscle tension and stuff like that, so look it up if you're interested, but Sage, really get it um, if you're into cleansing yourself, your home, your life. I'm probably gonna seem like a really crazy plant lady, but my other favorite this month is my new plant. Um, so if you guys didn't know, <laughs> I am a succulent enthusiast. I live for succulents and kind of plants in general. I like having them in my space. I don't know, it just brings life and positive energy. But this one is just the cutest thing ever, and I want to fix it because, like, it's kind of you see how it's wobbly. Yeah, I don't like it, but um, I haven't named it yet. I like to name my plants. I name everything, if you didn't know that. And um, yeah, I haven't named it yet. So if you can think of a name for this little beauty, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so I thought I'd bring out a fashion favorite. And um, yeah, so I don't buy clothes often. Um, I tried to minimize my closet this year and I got rid of a whole bunch of stuff, maybe a little too much. But um, every now and again, I'll purchase something that I've kind of had my, like, eye on or like I I don't know I just feel like it would be a good addition to my closet and this top is definitely let me see if I can open it up more so it looks like a plain white top with a scalloped bottom if you guys can see that hold on see it has a nice scalloped bottom but the back is where it's at because it is split open. Oh, you're supposed to split open. <laughs> it splits open and it's a scalped detail as well. And I just like wearing it with a bandeau. It's really light. And you'll never guess where I got it. <laughs> okay, guys. So I don't shop at Walmart often, but when I do, <laughs> this shirt is from Walmart. It was about like $3 or four or something like that and I don't buy my clothes from Walmart or typically shop at Urban or thrift stores or something. <gasps> There's a stain. We gotta clean that. Um, yeah. 
the thing about white clothing it stains but anyway that's my favorite I love it I've been wearing it a lot this month another fashion favorite has been this skirt that I thrifted in England of all places I went there for spring break and I picked up this skirt at a thrift store and I love it it's just this pale yellow with detail like blue and kind of golden orange yellow golden rock golden rock flowers um has an elastic waist so if i ever gain a few extra pounds it will fit um and it hits just above um i can't show you but um i'll i'll do a shot with me wearing it but it hits just above the knee and yeah it's good it's good for work because it's a modest length but you can also you know make it cool and funky with a, a crop top or a tied shirt or something like that so yeah this skirt <laughs> another thrifted find um so these are a pair of shorts that i got in the city um they are the brand luca couture and i got it at buffalo exchange i don't know which branch um if you see my new york vlog then you'll see me trying them on and they're just super cute they're high-waisted and not too cheeky i will i will say that it's really hard to find shorts nowadays that are like not too showy of the butt area you know um but these are really awesome and i threw them like i said they're about mm, like 10 12 dollars something like that um super excited i knew i had to get them because it was like it was just a whim like i saw them and i was like oh my god this pattern the material is like this almost if you guys have ever like had a hemp bracelet it's almost like that type of like rough material but it's just i don't know they're really cozy and i like them you can dress them up dress them down and they're just the perfect length for shorts so that is my clothing favorite and I guess another favorite is my hair I've been liking doing different hairstyles and this is one of them um I think it's cute I like that I'm like a bear <laughs> so that is another favorite and yeah let me get to my accessory favorite which is these sunglasses um yeah, I don't know. I picked them up at the flea market and I like them. They're cool. I've been wanting sunglasses all summer, but I have glasses. So like technically I should have subscription sunglasses, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted a pair because it's been getting really hot and sunny late. I mean, summer, it's hot and sunny, but I wanted sunglasses so that um, yeah, I don't know. I could just throw them on whenever. I'll be blind. It's okay. No worries. <laughs> well, I guess this is an accessory, so this goes with my sunglasses. But, um, I know that this is super on trend, and I don't typically follow trends, per se. But, um, okay, so I have been loving neck scarves. Well, bandanas, I guess, that you use as a neck scarf. And I first saw it being used in that way, I think, last fall. Fall. I follow the Instagram New Darlings, and if you guys don't know them, please give them a follow. Their aesthetic is so on point, and so like, it's very like indie minimal type of like feel. Yeah, so that's the best way. And I saw them use it in that way, and ever since then, I've been trying to rock it myself, and I just love it. And I really want more because I use it all the time. So I'm thinking of getting some more, but I can't justify spending 14 bucks at Urban, so I might thrift them might thrift them but yes this is another favorite this is my educational favorite yeah <laughs> um oh pfft. it was upside down <laughs> so this is my p3 handbook if you guys didn't know i am a double major in early childhood education and um with special needs and uh english creative writing and if you guys also didn't know, when you want to become a teacher, you have to take the Praxis exam. Um, and it's basically like a competence test for you to be a teacher, to ask you how to teach things. At least my test does. And um, yeah, so I studied this past month. I took it about three weeks ago and I got my scores and I passed. So that is a favorite this month. One less thing I have to worry about. That test is so expensive, everyone. It's like 140 bucks to take this test. So I was not going to take it again. But yeah, I'm excited I passed, and that's a favorite. 
music favorite this month is none other than my boyfriend's band Fiscal Cliff. They released their album earlier this month and it is on Spotify, it is on YouTube. I will leave all the links below and it's not just because he's my boyfriend, they have really cool indie rock music. That's the best way to describe it. Their sound isn't like particular in one way but um, it'd be cool if you guys give it a listen and one more music favorite has also been Jose Gonzalez. Um, I I recently just got Spotify, like like last week, and um, I yeah I was just scrolling through it and I know his song Heartbeats, but I never like sat and like went through his album, and I dig it so much. I am all about like acoustic folky music, um, not necessarily sad music, but. Yeah, and I like his, I love his voice, I love his lyrics, I love everything about his music. So, Jose Gonzalez, I'm sure you've heard of him, and if not, look him up. He's amazing. The best. Yeah. Shoes. So, I'm not really a shoe person. I'm not the type of person that's going to be like, I'm going to go get shoes. But, um, <laughs> there is a pair of shoes that I think is just like the anthem of my summer. And it is these... <sighs> Let's put them the right way. It is these sandals. They're like the Birkenstock style, but they're a knockoff, I guess. And uh, I got them three years ago, maybe? Three years ago? Yeah. Um, and they're really worn in. I don't know if you guys can see like the patch here, but I can't part ways with them. They're just my favorite summer sandal. And I'm going to admit that they're not vegan because I got them three years ago but I in transitioning like I, I get rid of stuff as they're done so I'm not gonna sit there and throw away everything because I don't have money to restock it and it just it makes no sense financially so these are kind of hanging around from my past days and yeah I'm excited to try and look for vegan versions of these because these are just the perfect summer sandal but yeah these are my shoe feet. okay this is a really random favorite okay it's here in my lap and it is this rice cooker okay so um, I am moving into a dorm that has a communal kitchen and I'm pretty excited about that because it means I get to cook more foods that I can eat at um, in my dorm and just when I go teach like I'll have lunch like actual prepared lunch that I don't have to go keep buying microwavable meals um, it just saves money in the long run and also within the next year year and a half or so Manny and I plan on moving into an apartment together possibly or I'm just moving out either way and um, yeah so I like that I have this little baby because I think it'll just make life easier it'll be fun to have rice from a rice cooker I can make jasmine rice brown rice things like that and I don't really have to sit there and pay attention to it in the same way that you do when you boil rice um, and it's just a fun new staple that I have for my future apartment and it just kind of excites me like oh look at the grown-up purchase I don't know I don't know I get excited about weird things like that but um yeah so that is all for my favorites and it was fun to come up with favorites because like you never really pay attention to what you are preferencing on any given month or time really like you just kind of go through life and you're just like I'm just gonna use this or I'm liking this and you don't really like give intentional thought to like this is my favorite this month and I think it's fun to challenge yourself in that way. I never knew that about favorites videos, at least that's how I took it, but I take everything like a personal development <laughs> journey. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will see you guys in my next one. Oh, actually, <laughs> little reminder, my um, social media is always linked in the down bar so if you guys want to i'd love to connect with you guys on my instagram or my facebook or my twitter or something um i don't have snapchat so don't follow me there not yet um but yeah i'd love to connect with you guys in that way and if you're not subscribed already then please press that red subscribe button down below it just means i'm gonna pop into your feed whenever i have a new video and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye